Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blogger. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a lower third animation in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, lower third can be created in a variety of different ways, and today I will show you one of those ways. So, without further delay, let's get started. Now, the first thing which I would like to do is I would like to create a new text object in the timeline. And so, to do that, go to Add Object go to text click on text and then click on ok now mark your text object on top of the screen like this and let's write some text inside the text box so let me just write let's say lower third and let me just change the font to montserrat black and let me increase the text size to somewhere around 100 pixels perfect now let me just quickly make some adjustments like this all right now i would like to reduce the duration of my text object in the timeline so currently the duration of my text object is 10 seconds so i would like to reduce it to 5 seconds so let me just write 0 5 inside the duration option and press enter all right now the next thing which we will do is we will create a second text object in the timeline so go to add object once again go to text click on text and then click on ok now mark this second text object right below the first text object like this and let's write some text inside this second text box as well so let me just write, let's say, tutorial. All right. Now, one thing which I would like to do is I would like to extend the text box to the extreme left, touching this border. And similarly, I would like to extend the text box, this second text box, to the extreme left touching this border all right now let me just center align my text so let me just select my text go to paragraph and center align it and let me just select my second text go to paragraph and center align it perfect now the next thing which we will do is we will create a line between this first text and this second text and to do that we will make use of the line object so go to add object select line and then click on ok now create a line between the first text and the second text like this perfect now the line is not visible because the thickness is really low so look inside the line object settings which is present inside the properties window color is set to white so that's fine inside thickness currently one is there so increase the value from 1 to 15 and there you go as you can see now the line is properly visible so let me just place it properly between the first text and the second text like this perfect now what we will do is we will place the objects in a sequence so my first text object this lower third starts from zero seconds in the timeline so that's fine my second object should start from 250 milliseconds so let me just write 250 milliseconds inside the time option and press enter and similarly my line object should start from 500 milliseconds so let me just write 500 milliseconds inside the time option and press enter all right now the next thing which we will do is we will double click on the first text object and we will go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok 
Now place this push transition right at the beginning like this and first of all decrease its duration from 1 second to 500 millisecond. So let me just write 500 millisecond inside the duration option and press enter. And now look inside the push settings which is present inside the properties window. Type is set to door so change this from door to side. Mode is right to left. So change this from right to left to left to right. Directly set to false. So change this from false to true. And inside the gradient length option currently 50% is there. So change this from 50% to 0%. So let me just see how my text is looking. All right. So I need to change the mode from left to right to right to left. And now let me just see how my text is looking. Perfect. Now we will create a second push transition or maybe not. We can simply copy paste this. So click on this push transition, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Now place this push transition right at the end this second push transition right at the end and look inside the push settings once again type is set to side mode is right to left directly set to true so change this from true to false and that's it so let's go back to the main editing timeline we will repeat the process double click on the second text object go to video effects go to transitions select push and then click on ok now place this push transition right at the beginning of the video like this. First of all, decrease its duration from one second to 500 millisecond. So let me just write 500 inside the duration option and press enter. Now look inside the push settings. Type is set to side. Mode is right to left. Directly set to false. So change this from false to true. And gradient length is already set to 0%. So that's fine. Now Click on this push transition, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Now place this second push transition right at the end like this and look inside the push settings. Type is set to side, mode is right to left, directly set to true. So change this from true to false. Perfect. And so if I just quickly play the video for you. All right. One final thing which is left to do is we have to add a wipe transition to our line object. So double click on the line object and go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Now place this wipe transition right at the beginning of the video and decrease its duration to 500 milliseconds. Currently it is set to one second. So let me just decrease its duration to 500 milliseconds. And now look inside the wipe settings. Type is set to door. So that's fine. Mode is vertical in. So change the mode from vertical in to horizontal out. Directly set to false. So change this from false to true. Gradient length is set to 50%. So change this from 50% to 0%. And so let me just see how my line is looking. Perfect. One final thing which is left to be done is select this wipe transition, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Now place this second wipe transition right at the end like this. And look inside the wipe settings once again. Type is set to door, mode is horizontal out, directly is set to true. So change this from true to false. Perfect. And so finally, if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the beginning. So this is a lower third, lower third animation which I've created. It is just one way of doing this. There are multiple ways in which you can create a lower third animation. So let me just quickly play this thing for you once again. Perfect. 
perfect so this is how you can create a lower third animation in vscc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching